A woman who took photos of the Kedimentary Bazaar and his two aides in what appeared to be a test drive on Saturday said she has been under attack by supporters of the Mentary Bazaar, ranging from religious teachers to those with political links. Nini Saron, 36, said personal details of her family had been circulated, including photos of her husband, her son and her sister spread widely by those accusing her of fabricating the incident. She had posted an account of a man resembling Mentori Basar Sanusi Mud nor apparently on a test drive of a new car, an activity forbidden under lockdown rules. An aide to Sanusi has since denied that such a test drive had taken place and said the entourage had merely stopped to take a look at a car Sanusi chanced upon while stopping to buy a takeaway on his way to Kuala Lumpur. Nini said hate messages had been flowing into her personal Facebook account and her husband's business page where he promoted Honda cars as a salesman. The page had to be deactivated after his mobile number and the pictures of his customers were spread. He has since been inundated with hundreds of hate and spam calls. She said there have been threats and curses left on her Facebook Messenger account since she posted the original post. In the wake of the furore, she said, she changed the privacy settings to allow only her friends to view the posting. Nini defended her posting, saying she was confident that she saw the Mentory Basar in action. No politician, just a regular Malaysian. rundown on how she chanced upon the Mentory Basar and his aides, Nini said she and her husband had first gone to a RM2 store at Juru Auto City, which was next to a Ford dealership. As they parked at the store, they saw a familiar face, a man who appeared to resemble Sanusi, with two other men and a Ford salesman, entering a blue Ford Ranger Raptor bearing Syme Derby and test drive livery. They returned after 14 minutes and appeared keen on testing a white Ford pickup, with the salesman appearing to start the car for a drive. But that did not take place as Nini intervened. said she was certain the person she saw was Sanusi, as he had taken off his face mask for about two minutes before wearing it again. Black Velfire with KEP 5000 number plate. She said while she was confronting the salesman, the Mentory Basar and his aides left in a black Toyota Velfire, with the number plate KEP 5000 bearing the words Mentory Basar Kedda embossed on top. Nini said she lodged a police report on the incident the same day with a video she took from her mobile phone as evidence. Sebarang Perai Central Police Chief Shafi Abdul Samad confirmed receiving a complaint from Nini, which is the basis of an investigation earlier announced against Sanusi and his aides over an apparent MCO violation. Separately, Sanusi's political secretary, Afnan Hamimi Tabe Azamuddin, said the Mentori Basar was on his way to Kuala Lumpur for a meeting and had stopped by the Juru Auto City area to pack some food, as most R&Rs are closed during the lockdown. He said Sanusi was traveling with his personal bodyguard and driver at that time.
Lucy has declined to comment and has left it to the police to investigate.